Obviously, we can't go through every connection available, but this one I used immediately. Suppose we need to connect the beam to a column. Well, we can do that. To demonstrate, let's jump into Revit. Under Projects, let's click Structural Template. Let's go down to Level 1. Let's go to the Structure tab. Let's grab a column. I'd like to load a column. Let's go to Load Family. Grab an HSS Hollow Structural Section. Click Open. And I don't care which one you grab. I'll grab a 10 by 10, I suppose. Click OK. The height will go up to level 2. It's going to pick a spot like right here. Then hit Escape a few times. Now let's go up to level 2. Let's click Beam. And I don't care the size, 12 by 26 is fine. I'll go from the midpoint of my column out to here. Hit Escape a few times. Let's go to a 3D view. Set the detail level to fine. Go to the Steel tab. Let's go to Connection Settings. Let's scroll down till we find Column Beam Seat Angle. Let's grab Column Beam Seat T also. Click Add. Click OK. Now we're ready. On the Steel tab, click Connection. Let's find Column Beam Seat Angle. Hold down the Control key. Select the beam. Select the column. Hit Enter. Hit Escape, and it puts it in. Let's change our visual style to realistic. Let's increase our scale to 3 quarters of an inch equals a foot, so we can kind of see it. Puts it right in for you. A couple things. Go ahead and select it. Click Modify Parameters. I'm going to just slide this over so I can see it. We can have it welded or bolted. We can change the angles. You've seen all that. For the top fixing, we don't really need that. So I'm going to go to None, because it's at the very top. Of course, our dimensions, we can set all of our dimensions. Our side fixing, we can increase the length to, I don't know, 6 inches. If we had a web to cut, we could cut it out. We can add welds. It will add a weld. You'll see the weld there. We're going to look at welds in depth in a few more videos. Bolts and holes, seat bolt distance, I think you get the picture. So we can close out of here now. But what's nice about this is if we select our column and change it to, I don't know, W10 by 33, it's going to adjust to it. If we select our column and rotate it by hitting the space bar, it'll adjust it back. So these things are pretty smart. Of course, if we select our seat angle, we can change it to a T angle. Of course, you can go back and modify the parameters. You can also click that here. Click Edit. Top Fixing. We can just turn that off. We can go with a plate if we want. Or say None. So, there you have it. That's how you add a beam seat.